<laughs> I know what you're thinking. Craig, have you pulled something off of Jeff? <laughs> No, no, this isn't a gay robot's testicle, although it looked like one, doesn't it? It does look like one. It's like, mm hmm. No, I tell you the thing. I, uh, I'm trying to cheer myself up uh, because what happened is at the weekend, this is Monday, it actually is, I, um, <laughs> I, uh, I go into, there's a little, a little, I got a little gym in my house. I know you would, but a little, I like to try and work out. Sure, yeah. All right, and next to it's a little bathroom, and it exploded. <laughs> Like, like the, the sewer system of the LA sewer system backed up and it, wow. <laughs> like, wow. It was like, it just covered in, in the stuff that you, that it was like, it was like NBC primetime everywhere. Yeah. And so, <laughs> it's a joke, it's a joke. Some of my favorite shows are on NBC primetime actually. <laughs> anyway, look. It was bad, uh, and I was like, oh, so I called a special uh, uh, plumber who deals with, really, you know, and he comes out in a, you know, he's got a special poison suit, hazmat suit. Yeah, right. And he looks at it and he goes, that's a category three right there. <laughs> I'm like, what's a category three? And he went, it's dirty. It's real dirty. Now, he didn't talk like that at all, but in the movie in my head, he talks like that. Yeah, right. And he's like, and he gets out his machine that uh, uh, cleans poo away, basically, is what it does. And he says, you know, and he looks at it and he goes, we're going to need a bigger poo away machine. <laughs> like in Jaws, you know in Jaws? Yeah, like, like yeah, yeah. And then I said, what, you're telling me you're going to close the beaches on the 4th of July? And he's like, yeah, we got to. <laughs> So I was cheering myself up by holding a glittery ball. <laughs> but even as I look at this shining, lovely thing, what I saw this weekend is seared onto my eyeballs. I always feel better when I hold two glittery balls. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be a classy one tonight, everybody. <laughs> Ferguson, sponsored by Prudential. Every challenge is an opportunity. Prudential, bring your challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. saved his job for one more day. <laughs> we call him a comedian. He's not really a comedian. I have to say, it doesn't sound like his voice is going to make it. You can't, ho he at home, you can't hear this, obviously, but the studio audience, I'm back there, I can hear it. When he says, he's coming out! <laughs> his voice, it goes crazy. He's like, he's coming out! <laughs> right? Here comes <laughs> Is that excited to see me? No one is that excited to see anybody. You can't go, oh look, there's that guy that what he's on TV in the middle of the night. It's not like, come on, it's not that exciting. It is a little bit exciting for me. It's great! It's right. ah. I, I just gone to the bathroom in my pants. 
Not the warm-up guy. I did it right yeah, there when yeah, I... Uh, yeah. no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very nice audience today, well, aren't they? I guess you had a big lunch there, huh? What the hell was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You were going to the bathroom in no, your pants. No, I wasn't going to the bathroom no, in my... I didn't go to the bathroom in my pants. Yeah. Plus, lunch was hours ago. It's live and it's midnight. <laughs> Why the hell would lunch have any bearing on what I'm doing? Well, you got long... like, if, I, if, I, yeah. if I hadn't edited, had edited the news lunchtime, then I'd have been on a fast. <laughs> A, a, fast. a fast! A fast! Yeah, sometimes in LA you can go on a juice fast and that makes you one of the in crowd. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm one of the in crowd in LA. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. What are you cheering for? I'm not really. I am. Except that I went to the bathroom in my pants. And I Don't go, ah, uh, I didn't really. Just somebody went, ah. Uh, it's not real. It's television. It's not real. Like, like, I didn't go to the bathroom in my pants. That's not a real horse. And, well, that is a real gay yeah, robot scale yeah. in this point. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Do you see this? Yeah. I'm doing this now. This is my new thing. Thanks, everybody. This is my new thing. I'm, go I'm doing this. Hey, diddly dee. Hey, hey. And I pretend I'm wearing a little leprechaun hat. What's that? People will, will love this. This will sweep the nation. This will be the new uh, Gangnam style. People, yeah. yeah. People will be going, hey, diddly dee. Hey, hey. And that'll be great. Yeah, this is going to go viral. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've lost my mind a little bit. It's raining in L.A. And when it rains in L.A., everybody in L.A. loses their mind! The whole city freaks out. Everybody goes crazy. We can have mudslides. We can have wildfire flyers. Wildflowers? Wild yeah, we can have wild... Yeah. Not wildfires. That doesn't bother anyone. People are like, oh. But wildflowers, people are like, oh! Wildflowers growing up the side of the road! <laughs> They won't stop growing! They won't stop growing! Ah. Look at them with their pretty colors! They're freaking me out! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, it's raining in L.A., which is a big deal in L.A. I know in the rest of the country, everybody knows how to deal with weather. In L.A., we can't. So today, we're on Stormwatch 2013. Have we got our graphic? <laughs> Come on, the graphic. Yeah! why he was going crazy earlier on because he was at the photo shoot today where I was posing for that graphic. <laughs> I'm still oiled up. My abs are still oiled up. Come on, Craig, hold up that umbrella. Come on, it's Craig! <laughs> it was very wet here in L.A. Nobody was walking anywhere. The traffic wasn't moving. Then it started to rain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How wet was it today? Well, it was so wet, uh, it was so wet, it was so wet uh, today, NBC replaced Jay Leno with Aquaman! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was so wet, Arnold Schwarzenegger finally used rubbers. Okay, good, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, ooh, the robot, it was, it was him that was having sex with the domestic help. Yeah, ooh, what the hell, man. Do you believe that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank that you. was a piece of comedy gold, yeah, Jeff, and they thank you, you, man. Thank you. <laughs> and they still think I went to the bathroom. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> it was so wet. I want to do another one. It was so wet. Reese Witherspoon got a DUI on a jet ski. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You got another one? Yeah, it was so wet, Aquaman was replaced by Jay Leno. <laughs> No, Aquaman moved to 10 o'clock, yeah. and then Leno... That's right, yeah. 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 And then everybody was like, what yeah. the hell? And Aquaman was like, that th th was crazy. Yeah. And then they split into different camps, and people were, like, taking sides. It's Aquaman, is it Leno? And there was a... Uh, there was, uh, no. <laughs> I, I'm very excited that it's raining. It gets me all going when it's raining in LA. I get very excited. Yeah, you get worked up. You get I get worked up. Thing. I get very... Because people go crazy here. I mean, they really do. They, like... When it rains in other parts of, you know, of the country, people are like, oh, you be careful driving. And here in LA, when it gets a bit cloudy, people are like, ah! <laughs> Clouds! <laughs> Light drizzle! Well, they, they don't do that. They do that inside because everyone's had so much surgery here that they're like this. Ah! <laughs> 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 
it, and then the rain comes down and it just washes right off, washes right off. Which is good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a monologue. Yeah, it? that really was something. I think we should call it more of a sort of nonologue. Nonologue. Because, yeah, we're not really... Oh, here's the thing. I'll tell you something weird that happened at the weekend. I went to a showbiz party. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And I bumped into, you know, Larry David from uh, the uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Curb Enthusiasm. Sure. Yeah. right. So I, I you know, I, uh, I said, oh, hi, and he'd been on the show. So I said, hi, he was perfectly nice, and then we just went separate ways. And I felt like I'd been on his show. <laughs> you know what I mean? As if you'd had a moment. I like felt that. as if we'd had a moment, and we didn't. <laughs> mm. Gosh, that was a great show business story, Greg, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't tell you what really happened. I had sex with him. <laughs> I didn't. He is one of the hottest women in the world, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, well, that's enough of that. Uh, yeah, that, that was then. great. Yeah, was I great. think that was really good. The next time we should write something. Why <laughs> <White> start <Dirk> now? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what have you got? Uh, you're going to take us to the com you're going to yeah, get sure. the commercial break. Yeah, all right. Do you want to do it? Or do you want to come over here? Come on over here, buddy. And do it from here. Do it. Come on over. Come on over here and do it here. Come on. Come on. Take take the big spot, the big cam. You've earned it, buddy. Come on. Take the take the big spot. How dare you. <laughs> All right, do your thing. More hard-hitting Stormwatch 2013 coverage after this important message from Boner Pills. <laughs> Really loud. Does that dead hurt you? Oh man, Sorry. yeah, but I think my ears, I think we're gonna have to call the guy that does ears. Now we gotta, we gotta category three. Yeah, you got a category three right there. Right, we're gonna need the walkinator. <laughs> the the, the walkinator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it on the big uh, you know, the where the all the sewage backs up and it goes <laughs> and suddenly, poof, wildflowers. <laughs> People go crazy. People go crazy with it. when they see wildflowers in LA. What do people do, Jeff? They go, oh my God! Oh, oh, <sighs> what kind of weekend did you have then? I'm just just uh, hung out here, you know. <laughs> yeah. You do the same. You hang out here too. <laughs> you guys, that's all you did. You just yeah, we're just waiting for you, man. Waiting for you to come back. <laughs> Sweet. That's that's adorable. And also sad. <laughs> Does the warm-up comedian, we call him a comedian, he's not really a comedian, does he hang out with you too? Yeah, he sleeps in the back, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, what time is it? It's street mail time. Time to take advice from a man who once met Larry David at a Hollywood party and shook his hand. <laughs> the greatest show business story yeah. ever! Yeah, it's a great story. That's an amazing story, like, I, well, hey, Larry, he was like, hey, hey. That's what you call a non-anecdote. Yeah, non-anecdote. It was a non-alogue and then a non-anecdote, right. a show business non-anecdote. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you want to do a jingle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. and emails. <laughs> the horse likes it. Tweets and emails. That used to sing that uh, Peter Frampton. Remember that? Right, yeah. <laughs> Greg, this show is more crap than usual this evening. That's because of how much got on me at the weekend. <laughs> All right, you ready, Jeff? Yeah, yeah. All right, this is from Cynthia in Medford, Oregon. Is it pronounced Medford? <laughs> Medford. Is it Medford, Oregon, or is it Medifuridae? That is actually the ancient correct pronunciation. The ancient, ancient? The ancient Medfordian. Ancient Medford. How ancient is ancient in Oregon? It's, About 200 years ago? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is from uh, uh, Cynthia. It says, Dear Craig and Jeff, my boyfriend broke up with me over the weekend. I'm looking for a rebound. Are either you available? I'm married, he's gay. Call a different show. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is from Donna in Sioux Falls in South Dakota. You ever been there? Love it. Sioux Falls. Beautiful. Have you got a place there? Got a couple places there. Is, have you got one of your laundromats there? Yeah, I got a laundromat there and a small uh, a disco that I run down there. <laughs> you have a disco? Yeah. What kind of disco music do you like in Sioux Falls? They yeah. like it sexy in Sioux Falls, right? You like your back yeah. on up? Come on, no one ever, ever, ever in the history of Sioux Falls ever did that. No, no. Maybe they do. I look forward to hearing from you, Sioux Falls. Uh, hello, Craig and Jeff. What's the best way to tell if a guy really, really likes me? Well, if he does this. <laughs> All right, finally, this is from Jill in Detroit. Have you ever been there? Oh, yeah, beautiful You've place. got one of your places there, haven't you? A couple you? places, yeah. What, what have you got in Detroit? You got a laundromat, got a, uh, you got yeah, the like you got a steakhouse. Got a steakhouse. And you got a steakhouse? Yeah. <laughs> Come on down to Jeff's. <laughs> <laughs> What's the speciality of your steakhouse in Detroit? <laughs> Ribs. Ribs? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> See, he's a skeleton, you see? That's why yeah. it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, ribs. Yeah. He's a skeleton. He's a skeleton. It's ribs. This is gold! Right? Yeah, look, this guy shook hands with Derry Lavitt. Larry, what? Derry Lavitt? <laughs> the hell? Derry Lavitt? Are, are you having a kind of one of these weird episodes? You're having a programming issue, man. No. Oh. All right, Derry, don't worry about it. Derry Levin. Derry Levin. That's his brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, his brother's got the same last name as him. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know. All right. Finally, this, uh, the horses, the back end of the horse is laughing. Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah. yeah. You don't often hear that. No. That's a rare thing. Loves that humor. Yeah. It's not really humor. I think he was laughing because you made a mistake. Yeah. Well, it's rare. <laughs> that you make a mistake? Yeah, yeah. That's not that rare. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, why do you insist on calling Secretary a horse when he's clearly a cow? Oh, man. Man. Wow. Go, I'm sorry, but don't go crazy. He's going to go crazy. Oh, Look. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Kick his ass, man. No, Kick no, his no. ass. Kick his ass. It, and calm down. It's not worth it. No, just relax. Everyone, just have a quiet moment. Just a quiet moment, all right? Everybody, we'll be right back. My first guest is a beautiful and talented actress. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta have to take a rest though. Oh, man. <laughs> I went too far with the dancing. Yeah, just... Oh boy. <laughs> you alright? We kinda of overdid it there, didn't we? Are you okay, man? How's how's your front end okay? The back end okay? Okay. My back end's completely gone. My first guest! In my trousers. Yeah, I understand. You had a category three. <laughs> <laughs> my first guest is a beautiful actress, very talented actress. Her latest film, The Great Gatsby, opens on Friday. Take a look at this. <laughs> Isla Fisher, everybody. Isla Fisher. Nice, very elegant indeed. Are your feet all right there? Here, let me get you something. Hold on. Uh oh. There you go, the old Tom Cruise <laughs> stool. There you are. Excuse the pun, Tom Cruise's stool? Yeah, exactly. It's a category three. <laughs> 
Actually, this is very comfortable. Yeah, I know. I want to make you comfortable. I want you to be happy and comfortable and Do know you you're in a safe place. Do you just give this to little people? Well, it, we call it the Tom Cruise stool because we think that if Tom Cruise is ever on the show, which is unlikely, but if he's ever here, I don't want his feet to not reach the floor because then he jumps on your furniture like he did on Oprah. Oh. <laughs> to distract you. <laughs> I don't know if it's good with people's self-esteem. <laughs> well, no, to... it's all right. These are very high chairs. They're, it's a, an optical illusion. Sometimes we get people with very long legs. Sometimes, but just not today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you look nice. Your hair looks very Scottish. Thank you. Yeah, wow. no, it does. Well, because you, you're Scottish, I'm I remember. I'm like you. Yeah, you're but... from Glasgow? Glasgow. I'm from Bathgate, my parents. Bathgate? Oh. Oh, this is the second insult I've been it's on the not... show. It's not... Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Easy, easy. First of all, it wasn't an insult. It was kind of like Bathgate. I said, whoa, I didn't know you were a member of the royal family. That's what I was going to say. Wow, well, yes. I wasn't going to say that. You sound a bit, eh, are you all right? I know. I've got a little bit of a cold. I'm really? Sorry. I'm Have not you been making up with the warm-up guy yeah. here? And the horse and the but, robot. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I, had, I had a terrible weekend. How was your weekend? I had a fun weekend. Really? What'd you do? Yeah. Well, I flew back from New York where I've been nice. promoting Gatsby. Did you fly your own plane? <laughs> it's possible you're a movie star you might have a plan you don't necessarily I wish I did because I'm a nervous flyer I Are wish really? I had a little more control when I'm up I, I used to be a nervous flyer and really I, yeah and I got a pilot's license no you didn't yes I did yes I did yes license? I got a pilot I, I took flying lessons I have a pilot's license now everyone else is a nervous flyer and I'm like it's all good it's fine so wait <laughs> I definitely don't think I have the mathematical abilities to get a pilot. There's not really, really a lot of math There's like involved. little buttons and the gadgets. There's buttons and gadgets, yeah, but you know, you're a woman, you deal with buttons and gadgets all the time. <laughs> I really don't. Some you do, you've does. got things and <laughs> clips and stuff. There, well, women make better pilots than men, that's my theory. But wait, so now you're flying, you're not afraid, you're in the sky, you think, oh, I could take over if something goes wrong, they come over the PA, they say the pilot's had a heart attack, the that, second pilot, the co-pilot's down. Right. Craig's here. Yeah, that, that, okay, that's a scenario which has never happened in the hundred year history of aviation. You do understand that, right? I mean, I know it's happened in movies, but it's never, ever, actually ever happened. But you could fly a commercial, fly, you know, a jet. <laughs> Plane's a plane. I could probably, I could get you, you know, above the airport. <laughs> I'd be happy with that. Yeah, yeah. And then you, you'd probably be on your own for the last couple of hundred feet. I... The, 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 oh, that's scary. No, it's the all right. The landing's the scariest part of flying. That's when most of the accidents happen. Well, about. yes, because you, you, it's very difficult to have an accident when you're in the sky and it's just clouds. <laughs> that's where the trouble is. You know, you... But it's all right. I think, you know, it was I an actor that got me into it, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, Kurt Russell. You know Kurt Russell, oh, the actor? I do. He's a, he's a very, very good pilot. And I told him, it was on the show, I told him oh. I was a nervous flyer. And he got me into it. So I'll wow. get you into it. I'll bring my little stool, will I? And just fly the plane with my <laughs> oh, no, tiny you... legs, just barely able to reach the pedal. <laughs> What's wrong? I didn't know you had a thing about your little legs. They're not that little. They're I didn't even know they were little until I did the They're show. not little. They're not little. Your legs are not little. We just have really big chairs, but we got them at discount prices. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not little at all. And I'm worried that you're, you're unnecessarily stressing yourself. On, no, on... I'm not. I'm not. I'm really just joking. No, you take a lot of... <laughs> Oh, when I fly? Yeah. Oh, we sorry, we circle back around. Um, no, 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 I'm good when I fly. I just try, I mean, I'm not good. I'm nervous inside, but I just try to, you know... Deep breathing, deep ujjayi breath. And I feel like I, I knock on the cockpit door and say hello to the pilot, and I, I hopefully, by saying hello, he, um, I don't know, somehow I have a silly, I don't know, no, a suspicion I think that's a, no. that maybe it won't crash because I've said hello to him. <laughs> that is yes, really a, embarrassing to admit. No, 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 I, I think it's, it's, a, it's an odd... Arrogance, if you don't mind me saying so. It's, it is a, it's a weird... Uh... No, I feel the opposite. I've given him love and I'm... <laughs> I, I, no, I I've totally given him understand. I've support and remind you know, I don't know. I just feel like by saying hello, I remind him, you know, hey, we're people back here. We're not just, you know... <laughs> don't get on your iPhone. Don't bring out the laptop when you're up in the sky. Yeah, Keep that... your hands on the wheel. I don't know if they I must remember that. to do that when I'm flying or playing next to... No, hands on the wheel. What's the other one? No bringing out your phone. <laughs> I am dreading every word that has come out no, of my mouth. No, no, no. Listen, I totally understand that. I was exactly the same. 
and and it's just a control issue. You have to yeah. go and get rid of it. You get yeah. rid of it, yeah. particularly if you want if you get rid of it by talking to the pilot. Well, then you could be the pilot. Talk to yourself and go. It's cool. I got it. It's fine. <laughs> it's just so like, wait, in my movie, I play my pilot. I play the pilot and myself, and just have that. Right. Role. You're like I'm. I like and land this plane. This is good. I'm awesome at this. What shall I do this? And the person next to me is just staring. Oh, there'll be no one next to you. <laughs> you got to do it solo for a little while. Wow. Mm, that's a frightening day. Wow. Mm. You went up solo? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've never worn those trousers again. <laughs> Tell me about the film, for heaven's sakes. It's uh, The Gatsby in 3D. Yes. Th that means... We needed an extra D. We needed more. More D to yeah. get the... the <laughs> You know, I love the movie. I saw it in New York. I saw it with a big, you know, 2000 seater, uh, you know, stadium almost. It was fun and larger than life, and it's classic Baz Luhrmann directed the movie. Yeah, yeah he's Australian. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta watch out for that. What? <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I know you're Australian. That's all. I'm just saying it. I forgot you were Australian. <laughs> Did you really? No, no, I didn't forget. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, no, I mean, it's great. It's a big cast, Leo. Leonardo DiCaprio's in the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is he Australian? A uh, little bit. Little Australian? Mm -hmm. He's not Australian. What's wrong with you? <laughs> They're like, oh, you didn't know he's Australian. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? A lot of the cast are Australian. Elizabeth Did Stavetti, you shoot it in Australia? We shot it in Australia. That's nice. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, but in Sydney? Yeah, we made Long Island in Sydney. Well, I suppose you could do that. I could yeah. see that happening. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's, How? That's How? Because I've been to both places. <laughs> I've been to both places, and they're both kind of by the sea and sunshiny sometimes. And, exactly. You know, yes. Long Island doesn't have much in the way of deadly spiders, but you can always get them. Yeah. We had a special snake and spider wrangler keeping the... They're not that bad, are they? No, I'm joking. No, we didn't. <laughs> you took your life in your hands then. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of spiders in Australia. There are a lot. I feel like nine of the ten of the world's most dangerous spiders and snakes are in Australia. Are in Australia. Yeah, I know. And the other one is in Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. That's not true, but it might be. We have to take a break. Okay. Uh, yes. Don't worry, though. <laughs> We're not in the sky. Aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> if the pilot says that, that's a very bad sign. <laughs> we'll be right back with Ayla Fisher. <laughs> Fisher, we're on the telly now, so we have to... Okay, okay. All right. <coughs> pretend we don't know each other. Exactly. Or pretend we're great friends. Yeah. That's what you do. <laughs> ah, do you remember when we saw Larry David at that party? That was... <laughs> do you ever meet anyone famous at a Hollywood party and think, and think you know them and then realise you don't, yes, they're just all famous? all the time. Oh, do you do that? Yeah, it's really embarrassing. So embarrassing. I know. How do you get out of it? I just go, you! Yeah. <laughs> Or then, or pretend I have to go to the bathroom very quickly. Oh, there's nothing worse. Yeah, I'm, yeah, no, it's pretty bad. What, sorry, what's that on your desk? It's a snake cup. I, I've got this weird Freudian thing about my penis, so I, uh, <laughs> I have a snake cup for where, but and also. It's not very phallic. I mean, it's sort of shaped more like a, a lady's. <laughs> well, I don't know much about your Australian ladies, but in America. <laughs> Oh in America, God. the ladies don't have nothing like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. A lady's what? Oh, you mean this, the here? Yeah. Oh, what? no. Oh, oh, gosh. Let's just put that away. Let's just put that I right can't away. believe you, you get so much sexual information from a piece of. It's only a cop. It's only a cop. Oh, Are you in therapy? Don't know. <laughs> Are you going to psychoanalyze? I, I'll do it if How you want. Yeah. Okay, try. Yeah, yeah, I'll be the therapist. Here, I'm putting my hands together, right? All right. All right. Okay, so this is your first visit to me? What's the accent? Well, I'm just, you know, I'm okay, putting it, okay. just a bit of flavor. Yes, you know. this is my first visit to you. Mm. I see, and you're frightened of flying. Correct. I'm this is what you need help with, the fear yeah. of flying. Yes, definitely. I see. When you, this question may seem weird to you, but when you look at a, a, a piece of uh, crockery or a drinking utensil, <laughs> do you immediately think of a male or female sex organs? <laughs> Both? I see. <laughs> you spent a lot of time in Europe then. Yeah. This is good. 
Anyway, look, we're out of time. Oh. Mm. I'm relieved, maybe. Yeah, relieved. <laughs> but that's okay. I think you've revealed a great deal, and we found out something along the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> and remember, always let your conscience be your guide. <laughs> Hello, Fisher, everybody. We'll be right back. guest is an Oscar-winning screenwriter. He stars in Community on Thursday nights on NBC on primetime. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jim Rash, everybody. Jim Rash. I didn't know whether you were going to help me up the stairs. Or I not. was going to help you up the stairs. Well, I then held, I, I held my hand out and I was like, oh, he's not going to help me up the stairs. No, all right, I'm all right. Not. And I'll tell you why because you have enormously long legs. Thank I you very much. Look out. They are so long, I don't need to fetch I'm, a stool for I you. I might need the stool. No, <laughs> lean back. Yeah. Yeah. Your legs are very long. I remember your leg at the Oscars. You oh, did yes. that thing when yes, you I got did. your yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that was very cheeky. Did oh. you get into trouble for that? No, I didn't actually. Uh, I saw. Uh, actually, Brad was on. Brad Pitt was on the uh, other side of the stage when we came off, and he said, "Way to go, guys." I don't know if it was about that, but I think you know. <laughs> I think Brad Pitt and he says, not do way this. to go, guys, he quite a lot. I think go. he goes, way, way to go, go, guys, way to, to everybody. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that to uh -huh. people. Oh, yeah, you should. Yeah, I'm going to go, way to go, guys, oh, and do a little thing I like that. I was going to tell you, this went viral. Yeah, I, it, it'll... From the time I came out there, <laughs> three people passed and did that. <laughs> it's, it's, and then it got out, then, it, then became unpopular as I came out here. Yeah, it goes fast. It's quick. It goes quick. Listen, tell me about community. I, now, are we doing another series after this one? Do we know what's uh, happening? We, you know, we will uh, hopefully hear soon whether there's a uh, another. Uh, it's, a, it's a great show. It's a, it really is a terrific show. Thank you. Although the, I have to say, the clip that they showed there, I think, was more Joel's clip. No, it, it, that, it you definitely know, was Joel's. He did set up. And I don't know if clip. there's someone we can talk to right now or, or get into that. And I, I know it's a weird time to get into it, but I think we should. I think we, like we should, should get into it. I think you know, Joel knows some people here. I think that what he probably did is he replaced your clip with a clip that made him look good. No, no. Joel yeah. said, oh, let's do the one where I'm in my underwear. Yeah, And I yeah. only have one arm. Yeah. <laughs> Is he in under underwear a lot? Do you guys walk around in underwear a it's lot? It's just a great way for us to get into our characters. I think it's fine. You know? I think it's good. Usually what we'll do is, is what we call it is uh, powwow time. Mm -hmm. it's his words, not mine. Mm -hmm. Powwow time. It's in his trailer. We just get down to our skivvies. We run our lines. We collapse into each other. You know? <laughs> It's all that normal actory stuff. <laughs> yeah, take a sip. <laughs> it feels like a good time. After an awkwardness. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I was trying to, I just felt the necessary to go to my phallic substitute right there. Well, it, Are you in therapy? Is that how you protect yourself? Well, kind of. Did you just ask if I'm, <laughs> did, you, wait, did you just ask if I'm in therapy? Yeah. How dare you, yes. Are you? I, does it have any kind of major therapy? <laughs> But really? You, what is it, does it have a Jungian flavor, a Freudian thing? Is it cognitive, precognitive? What is it? Uh, it's, it's sort of like that, oh, what do they call it? It's a technical term. Get on the floor and cry. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, yes. I don't yes. know what that... Who, have you been in therapy a long time? No. Uh, I, you know, I go in and out. I, I remember going to therapy when I was a young child. I, a child? Are we going to get into this? Oh, oh. I was a... <laughs> Can I touch your knee? Yeah, yes, you I can. Was, if I it helps you, I, I, a lot of my patients enjoy the yeah. knee. I was, I was a child of divorce. Mm -hmm. I was a latchkey kid. No, I remember going as a child, and that's when you got, it was more fun because the room was just filled with toys. Right. And you just go start playing, and they just sort of watch you. You don't have no idea. So as you talk that's about the That's the kind puzzle, of therapy like, I'm in now. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I prefer it. Mine doesn't have any toys. Do you, uh, are you a believer in it? Do you think it's helpful? I think it helps me. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I like to talk out loud for about 50 minutes. I could never do that. No, you couldn't. <laughs> Wait, do you have shorter sessions? Yeah, yeah. I, I How long are your therapy sessions? Uh, three to four minutes. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't help it. I just kind of throw to a commercial, and then we're done. It seems oh, yeah. like we're done. Does your, does your therapist get thrown off that you throw to a commercial? I don't throw to a commercial, but you know, I do find myself sometimes uh, talking to people, and I wish I could throw to a commercial. Yeah. No. Do you ever go to a Hollywood party and Let's meet Larry David? Let's commercial right now. No, no, no. Oh no. Okay. okay. No. <laughs> Do you ever uh, go meet Larry David and 
I did. I did a, uh, a Curb Your Enthusiasm. Oh, you did. Uh, it, the, it didn't make the cut. I was a guy in a a uh, salad bar that uh, was taking too long, and then Larry <laughs> David berates me. It, it yeah. seems like there's a lot of that uh, in Larry's yes. life. I think yes. that. that that's really his life, isn't it? I think that's I think why it's so it's freaky. A series of hurdles yeah. for people that he hates. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling he hates me, and he doesn't even really why, know why me that, that well. Why? I think I think just because I was in front of him. When? <laughs> I met him at the weekend at this party. Oh, that's right, the party. Thing. Yeah, and I think he kind of hates me. And you thought you had met him, is that right? No, I have met him. He's been on the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he has been on the show, hasn't he? Should we get verification? <laughs> No, I had that with Rhea Perlman. I was convinced she'd been on the show. She's never been on the show. Oh, how did that go? I never met her. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, at the, but at the party, did you say, oh, so great having you on the show? No, no I, never, I never even met her at a party, oh, but okay. I was talking to Danny DeVito. I said, hey, tell Rhea hi. He said, you know her? I went, she was on the show. He went, she's never been on the show. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm losing my mind. Yeah. Yeah, well, a little bit. Should we start therapy? Do you want to be the therapist? We should just do group therapy together. <laughs> We'll do three minute, three to four minute therapy. Together. All right, then, and then what is there hugging at the end? There's always collapsing and hugging. I just told you that it's powwow time. <laughs> Look, if if we're not collapsing into each other by the end of three minutes, then we're not really good friends. <laughs> Maybe one of us is just Scottish and naturally reserved. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna win you over to that. <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. It'll yeah. take some time. It'll take some time. Well, we got to go to a commercial. Oh, okay. No, no. Actually, we, we're, we're kind of done. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, great. This yeah. is nice. So, um, well... Want an awkward pause? Fancy an awkward pause? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay, then. Okay. fun. It wasn't really a pause, though, was no, it? No, I didn't. <laughs> I, like, I like awkward action. That's what I call it. <laughs> it was kind of nice. I like the little dance thing. Wait, oh, the dance. Thank yeah. you. Let's stand by the fire and okay. then go to the commercial. Sure. Sure. Right. <laughs> ooh, 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 that's crackling. <laughs> you want to put one on there? Jeffrey? Yes, Greg? Jim and I have decided to warm ourselves by the fire. Mm. Oh, please, by all means. Jim's my new friend. Mm -hmm. Best friends. <laughs> <laughs> we are best friends best now. Best friends. Best friends. In your face. <laughs> In your well, face. Way to go, guys. <laughs> was that Brad Pitt? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. hey! It was Brad yeah. Pitt! Yeah. I recognize you! Brad Pitt! Way to go, way to go, guys. Way to go. Good work, good work. That's, that's, that's actually very that's good. good. Warm yeah, your nuts very by good. the fire. Go ahead, warm your, go warm your nuts. Go ahead, good work. If he was only eating while he did that, it'd be a perfect Brad Pitt. Put some food in my mouth. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> we have to say, say good night, everybody. We have to go. Good night, good night, good night, good night.